Hey everybody, it's Willie Parlier and welcome to another Message Monday. It's that time of year again, the season of scratchy throats and runny noses. On top of the regular seasonal ailments, we've been facing COVID-19 pandemic since this month two years ago, and it seems like it's here to stay for quite a while. With over 2 million confirmed cases, it seems like the whole world's trembling in fear over the effects of the coronavirus. Alongside of COVID-19, we also have other things to worry about, like the flu and the seasonal cold. It seems like there's no corner we can turn to this day and age without having to worry about contracting some sort of illness. With all these illnesses we are aware of today, there's a pandemic even greater than COVID-19 that is constantly blindsiding the world daily. Yet, many walk their day-to-day -day lives in absolutely no fear of its effects. We mask up daily for COVID-19, yet forget daily to take the mandatory safety precautions to protect us from this illness. This disease is highly contagious. The effects begin within the heart of an individual and spread throughout the body, infecting the mind and eventually spreading to the mouth where it is further spread to others. The scariest part of all is that one of the inevitable side effects left untreated is death. But there is hope. There's a vaccine to this virus that has a 100% success rate when taken. The effects of the illness are minimized and the chance of death is completely removed. The vaccine also works to completely restore the condition of the heart. This deadly disease has been in existence since the beginning of time, but has spread like wildfire over the last decade. The key ingredient to the vaccine has been effective for over 2,000 years now, yet many live completely ignorant of either's existence. The name of this deadly virus is sin, and the vaccine is named Jesus Christ. Romans 5.12 says, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. We live in a fallen and imperfect world that was shattered so long ago by the effects of Adam and Eve's sin. There are none of us that can escape it without the help of Jesus. Romans 10.15 tells us, but not as the offense, so is also the free gift. For if through the offense of one man many be dead, much more the grace of God, and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abound unto many. Jesus Christ came to the world and died for our sins so that we may have life and have it more abundantly. We spend much of our life fearing death, but when our bodies on this earth perish, that's not the end. We have two destinations, heaven and or hell. One route leads to an eternity of pain and suffering. The other leads to the opposite. When we accept Jesus Christ as the cure to sin, we no longer have to fear death. 1 Corinthians 15.54-55 reminds us, So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Whole death. Where is thy sting? Old grave, where is thy victory? My question to you is this. Are you tired of living your day-to-day -day life fearing death? The death of yourself or the death of others? If so, take the cure that completely removes the sting of death and share it with everyone you know. For the Bible tells us in John 3, 16 through 17, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God doesn't want you to go to hell. He loves you, and he wants to spend an eternity with you. God sent his only Son, Jesus, in a desperate attempt to restore our relationship with him. If you're ready to take the next step and want to be freed from the results of sin, the Bible tells us this in Romans 10, 9, that if thou shalt confess with thine mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. If you've been vaccinated from sin in your own life, please share it in the comments below as a testimony to the power of God so that others may believe. And if this video has helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Message Mondays where we continue to share the gospel with everyone. We love each and every one of you guys, and God bless.